The death of Carly Ryan was the first of its kind, not only in Australia, but in the world. In 2007, Carly had been talking online to Brandon Kane, a supposed 20-year-old boy who she believed was the love of her life. But what Carly didn't know was in fact, she was falling in love with Gary Francis Newman, a 50-year-old divorced father who lived with his mother. Newman, with over 200 online identities, traveled to Adelaide to meet Carly, posing as Brandon's adopted father. This is where he would first attempt to consummate his sexual obsession with Carly, convinced that she would accept him in place of her fantasy with Brandon. Carly rejected Newman's sexual advances and told her mother what had happened. Her mother then kicked him out of their home. Enraged and seeking vengeance, Newman then turned to a 17-year-old boy who he hardly knew, a boy who had spent his whole life in foster care. Newman convinced the boy to pose as his son, Brandon. Persuaded that she would finally meet the love of her life, Carly lied to her mum, hugged her mum tightly, and left to go and meet the father and son. The next time that Carly was seen, her lifeless body was laying face down at the water's edge of Horseshoe Bay, 80 kilometres from her home. Forensic evidence showed that Carly had been attacked from behind, pushed face first into the sand and smothered. Still alive, she was then thrown into the water and left to drown. Experts conclude she died just half an hour before her body was found. At the very moment that police arrested Newman for the murder of Carly Ryan, he was logged on to his computer at home as Brandon and was chatting with a 14-year-old girl in Western Australia, likely to be his next target. In 2010, Gary Francis Newman was sentenced to a minimum of 29 years in jail. He will be near 80 before his release.